welcome to lesson five of beginner Irish traditional guitar. And so far we've covered the chords of D and G major in the key of D major, and now we're going to move on to the next in what are, what are the three most commonly used chords in the key of D major, and this is A major. And there are a couple of variants that we generally use for A in the key of D major. So I'm going to show you a couple of them first. Um, and then we discuss their usage and playing them strumming. So one of them is um, is the more common. Um, it's just your standard A, and some people use three fingers here. Um, and so we're covering the second fret of these three strings, so the D, G, and B strings, and we're covering the second fret of each string. And I'm using my second, third, and fourth fingers respectively. <laughs> That gives us an E, A, and a C sharp note. So starting on the D, G, and B strings, second fret. And we can strum from the A, from the A string down, and we can actually strum this open E string this time. So previous to this in D and G, we've muted this string. Now we can ring it out because it's actually theoretically part of this chord. Um, later on in your guitar studies, we can talk about theory and that. But for now. We know that um, an A, C sharp and an E are generally included in an A major chord. So this is your A major, or it's one of the A majors we use. And we make sure to not hit this string because this is a D. So this will interfere with the, with the harmony element of um, the A major chord. Other than that, you can bar it. You can use your first finger and bar the three strings. It's the same chord. It's much more difficult really to get used to at the start, but later on bar chords and small bars, partial bars, um, become really useful in your playing. Um, it, you may mute this with your finger also. So that's one A major. Um, interestingly enough, it's actually not commonly quite used. Um, what is, <clears throat> is particularly in um, drop D tuning, and it's an actually a more sophisticated chord, um, which I will show you next, but it's actually much easier to play. You'll be relieved to hear. So it's actually an A sus chord we use, and sus is short for uh, suspended. So um, no need to get worried in the confusing sounds of these names like I was when I started playing, seeing A S U S. So it's just sus for suspended, and it's kind of a floating sound. And luckily, we only use one finger for this chord. And so all we got to do is I generally use my my middle finger, my second finger on the D string on the second fret. So this is an E note and we play from the A. So we play from our bass A string down through all the strings, avoiding the bass D string. So you notice it's got this kind of floaty, um, sort of, I suppose, dreamlike sound. much easier it transitions between our D chord much nicer but so we have that that's our A suspended or we have our, our A major we have one more option for our A and now I'm just showing you these as options um, this is the most common one I will say the other common one lastly is one that we use here and it's we're using a ring finger on the D string on the seventh fret which gives us an A note Underneath that one fret back on the sixth fret, we use uh, our middle finger on the G string, sixth fret, which gives us a C sharp note. And underneath that one fret back further again on the B string, we use our first finger, which gives us a high E note. So we get an A on the seventh fret of the D, a C sharp on the sixth fret of the G string, and an E on the fifth fret of the B string. And we can strum all our strings except the bass again because that interferes with our A chord. And that gives us an A string. So <clears throat> to recap, I'm going to use this most common chord here for the A and we're going to practice playing a D, a G and an A together. So we're going to do one bar of four, four time for each chord. So a D, two, three and four and G and two and three practice going between a G and an A or a D and an A or a D and a G at this stage so we have a few different combinations so to get used to our, our finger muscle memory and our 
and they're also our mental uh, memory for the particular sounds. And this is something we can do sitting on the couch watching TV, whatever we're doing, we're getting more familiar all the time. We don't even need to strum with this, we just practice moving our fingers between positions because we're getting used to stretches and changes in finger positions. So it's all quite detailed compared to what you're probably used to doing either on other instruments or the different tune guitar. So <clears throat> we've covered the most important um, chords or the most commonly used, should I say, chords in the key of D major. We have D major, G major and A major. Um, there are some other small little substitutes and other little colours that we use um, to get us on our way to accompanying tunes and we're going to look at doing that over the next couple of lessons. We're going to pick some suitable tune or tunes and we're going to see how we can get, get rolling on them. So that's it for this lesson.